Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to care for little baby parapets. So as you can see, my tank is right here. And basically my terrapins are really shy. So they always, they're always always hiding. So um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one torches right there. I mean, terrapins. But terrapins are turtles actually, like tortoises, if you put them in the water, they won't swim, they'll just drink the water, so yeah. But my terrapins are just babies, so they're still small ones right there. I have two in this tank. As you can see, the head is sticking out a little. Yep, there it is. And my other one is right. inside because as you can see it's they are outside and they get natural light because you can still use the UVB light but it's better to use natural sunlight because they're from the wild and whenever I put this plant inside they will like hide under and they won't get much sunlight and as you can see I also have this cave and they are always hiding in this cave Whenever I don't put this plant inside. So yeah, they always fight. But anyways, let's get started. So never so if you just got a baby terrapin or stuff or a baby or a new baby terrapin, I would recommend you just leaving them in their cage and not holding them because they might be too stressed for you to hold them. Just Leave them in their cage, just let them get new to their new home and they'll be happy. And this cage is just temporary for them. I'm gonna get them a new cage. So yeah. So if you're putting them outside too, I won't really recommend putting them in these plants or these caves because they need a lot of sunlight if you're putting them. They can go in rain, but make sure that rain is not so heavy so the water doesn't go so high because they may drown. So if you are getting a terrapin, just um, put shallow water because they may drown if they are still babies. The terrapins will grow quite big so you need a space for them. So if you have a terrapin at home, I recommend you just getting one if you don't have much space for them. So yeah. Um, I would really recommend hand feeding because they may be a little scared of your hand. And yeah. So basically, they need to eat vegetables every day or they may die. As you can see, they're fighting again. Guys, stop it! No more. So yeah, this is Bubbles. She's more active, and as you can see, her shell is actually lighter than the other one. And this is Minnie because she's shy. She's always shy. And as you can see, when I'm holding her, she's a little bit shy, and she kind of run away. See, she's shy, but she may just try to push my hand away. But if you say bubbles, bubbles is so active. As you can see, I can't even catch her. Look at her, and she's also really beautiful. Um, it's not really red here; it's kind of orange. But yeah, as you can. See, See, you can totally tell the difference between both of them. This one is so much lighter. And you can also tell who 
wish will be luck. As you can see, Baba has this thing. Ah! And let's see, Min. Mini is this one. So yeah, they don't really. I won't really like recommend you holding them because they are animals and they don't really like. They don't really like being held because they're and they're tortoises. I mean, they're turtles, and they are supposed to live in the wild. So yeah, try not to hold them unless you're like checking if they're sick or something. Or yeah, um, you can play with them once in a while. And if you're wondering what they like to play with, um, you can actually make mazes for them, and they can find their way out. And then when you're done, you can give them a treat. Um, they don't just need vegetables, they also need their pellets or else they also might die. If you just got a new terrapin, um, if they are not eating, that's totally normal. They can spend weeks without food, but they'll just be a little hungry. So if your terrapin is not eating, don't worry, just give them some time. Okay? Um, Bubbles is really playful, so yeah. This now when I flip her over, her head was like, ah! So yeah, this is how you care for a tortoise. And normally tortoises like big enclosures. So yeah, this one is quite big, but as you know, I'm gonna move them into a bigger enclosure. So yeah, they actually used to be this big, but now they've grown a lot, actually. I've had these for about two months i think so i didn't have them for long either but anyways they're really cute they're not one year old yet and they're still cute they have these little holes at their noses and i think it's super cute but anyways i think i'm gonna end today's video don't forget to like and subscribe if you like today's video bye